Hey everyone, and welcome to our new training today. We're doing active CRM today. So thanks for joining me. Um, yeah, like I said, we'll focus in on active CRM. This is me. My name is Michael. I'm one of the trainers here at uh, Newton Connectivity. And today we're going to go over some of the components inside CRM, which is not part of the new platform or the new section that Velocity has. So I know you've been hearing about our new Velocity CRM, which is more based on a set it and forget it type of approach where you're going to remind yourself to do something, set it up, and it will fire out an email or text message or any type of communication. That is our passive CRM. And I do suggest that you have checked, you, you check that out if you have not done so yet. Uh, I will show you at the end of this presentation where you can find that information uh, in terms of that training. However, I would strongly suggest that you do go and check that out. It's groundbreaking and it's going to change the way in which you conduct your business. Today, however, we're going to focus in on tasks and workflows within Velocity. And that's more of an active approach rather than set it and forget it. You're gonna set it and have a reminder to, get, to send it out, but you actually have to physically send it out. It doesn't go and fire on its own, right? And that helps if you need to customize it in the moment or if you wanna check it before it goes on and fires out without you knowing it firing. Right, so active CRM is great for teamwork as well. It does improve your communication so that we can work together effectively. Velocity has been designed in such a way that teamwork is one of the main core focuses. We know of top teams that have been able to increase their volume simply by just relying on what it is that we're going to cover today. So let me share my screen here so we can go to a quick overview of what it is that we will be covering for today. Um, let me go and share it. There it is. All right, so I hope everybody can see my screen. Here's an overview of what we will be looking at for today. We're going to look at the component or at least the idea of why you should bother with active CRM, how it helps you as opposed to passive or as opposed to just sending out emails or sending out text messages on your own. We will then focus in on the two different types. Today, we're going to look at tasks and we're going to look at workflows, how we set them up, where we find them, how we use them effectively for our business. Uh, then uh, lastly, we will be looking at my day. What my day is, it's pretty much the part of velocity that you use to manage your tasks and workflows and send out these communications to your clients. That's an overview of what it is that we will be looking at today and pretty much in a nutshell of what it is that we're looking at. So number one, why would we bother with... Uh, our active CRM, what's the point of this? You can picture it as your calendar poking you like Facebook pokes you to remind you that you have to do something or you have to communicate with your client in any particular way. So it's like a pre-scripted message that you set up for yourself that goes out to the client under a specific condition or on a specific day. So it's one click and you can customize it in the moment. So for example, you may need to text your client to check back on their MPP application. You can do so by setting yourself a reminder on that day. If you set up a task, it will remind you within your calendar and within my day that you need to send out an email or send out a text. If you are setting up a workflow, you can actually set up uh, an actual script for that particular communication for MPP, and I'll show you how to do that. You can also remind yourself about things that you would like to just set yourself a, a calendar reminder. So for example, you need to call a new lead, set that up and it will poke you and remind you to do so. 
The messaging is actionable, it's interactive, and it can be customized before you go and send it out. So this gives you a more of a personal type of approach to the way you're conducting your business. In that way, what it is that we're doing is we're giving the client that personal, ex that personal experience. So you can put in uh, a message, how is your mother? Or how was your surgery, if you, know, if you know this, depending on what type of relationship you've built up with your client. And this is best for that type of customization. Uh, having this may result in you having a higher open rate uh, when, it, when it doesn't read like an automated email. So an automated email sounds like something that's spam. We, we all see them all the time when we subscribe to these companies, when they send out the marketing and people tend to just go over this and just pass it by as if it is spam or as it is some kind of marketing or an annoying uh, email. So what we want is for you to update it and make it more personal and it reads like an email which has been customized for them. And that obviously helps your business uh, from a personal perspective as well. So we'll look into the, those uh, components in terms of how they are actually set up. The two different types we'll be looking at is tasks versus workflows. So what's the difference between these two? A task is just a reminder for you to do something. It's something in your calendar that says, remember to do this. And you say, oh, I got I to gotta remember to do this. A workflow, on the other hand, is actionable. Right, So it's a reminder, but it's also preset. So there's a scripted email or a scripted text message or even what you're going to say in a phone call. And it's actionable by my day, which is pretty much a personal assistant in terms of what it is that you want to do. Here's a screenshot of my day. Although I will walk through it, you can get an idea of what it is. It's not only a calendar. It's also telling you exactly what needs to be done. For example, here I'm going to send out phone calls, and these are the text messages we need to go out. So that's the title that I've actually put forward for myself. That's who's going to get it. That's the deal number, et cetera, et cetera, in terms of a phone call. We don't have a deal number, of course, set up in there. But if you do have a, an SMS, you'll have a deal number and you can send it through uh, my day. With regards to a phone call, you've got the reminder. You may set yourself a script and you can go ahead and remind yourself what needs to be said within that phone call. Text message is already set up. You can go ahead and send it from my day, or you can change it by means of the actions button. Again, I will walk through how to use this, but it's a little bit more than just a calendar. All righty. So let's firstly look at the tasks. Now, what, like I said, what tasks are, they're once off reminders, so they're not tied to any rules or conditions. When you set them up, you will just click on, well, I'll show you exactly in Velocity how to do that. But it will look like this. So you're going to choose a type of task. Is it going to be an email? Is it going to be a follow-up? Is it going to be a text message or SMS? You can set a deadline, a title, as well as any details to that specific task. And you can go ahead and put it, put it into your system. So let's jump on into Velocity to see what this is going to look like uh, in a moment here. If I look into Velocity, here we, here we are. Um, I would pretty much just Let's go, to the, let's go to the home screen. If I'm just logged into Velocity, I'm just logging into my home screen, I will see um, the desk, well, the home screen looking like this. Just give me a second for my Velocity to load up. There we go. And that's my home screen. So everybody is familiar with all the functions of the home screen. However, if I, scroll, if I, if I go on down to the top here, I see this check mark over here. When you wake up in the morning, it's a good idea to click the check mark and see what it is that you have to do today. Reason being, the check mark includes your tasks that you have to do for that particular day. If I have set up any tasks for me to do, they will appear inside today over here. Now, if I have completed a task, it's as simple as going within that circle and checking it off. And what happens is it gets a green check and it's done. You've checked it off. If I do not check off a task, what then happens is it goes to this red overdue column. So inside the overdue column, I have a list of tasks which I set out for myself but have not completed yet. It's important to know that if I do not check it off in the today 
to do less for my tasks, it will go to overdue. And I can also just take it off over there as need be. However, it's important to know that any task which is inside your today, uh, if not done, will go to overdue. How do I set up a task? Well, it's as simple as clicking on that plus button. I'll click on the plus button and what will pop up is this edit task that I showed you in the presentation. I'll just click on the drop down arrow and a type of task or drop down menu will pop up. I can just go ahead and choose what type of task I would like to do. For example, would like to email somebody. Set the deadline for yourself and give that task a title, whatever that may be. Give yourself the details of that particular task and then go ahead and close it. This will appear in two places. It's going to appear inside your calendar and it will appear inside my day. So here's your calendar and that's a daily calendar that I have set up for myself over there. Uh, however, if I want to view the full calendar, it's as simple as clicking on the bottom here. Another way you can set up a task for yourself if you just want it to appear in your calendar is by dragging and dropping that task. So we have a list of particular tasks that you can do over here. If I want to set up something for myself, uh, I can also just drag and drop that particular task as well. So inside today, I can say I want to do an email. And what will happen is I, that item will just pop up for myself as well. I can set the location. I can set a cell phone number. I can set an email. Newton.ca and whatever the description is as well. I can then just close it um, and I can say I'm done and it will appear inside there. And I have to, when, when I send an email, it will just give me that reminder as well. I can go and delete it over there or I can just close it and it's still available for me to do. Right, so those are the two different ways that I can set up tasks for, for myself, either just within the calendar or I can set it up um, uh, from the task menu over there at the plus button. We will walk through um, my day once we've completed the, uh, the workflows. So that's how to set up an overall task. So you can action it as an email uh, or text message or anything at a later stage. Now, there's another last way that we can set up a task if we want it inside the deal. So if I am inside a deal, there is an option for me to set up a task which is relative to this particular deal that I am working on right now. So we have an option inside Velocity for you to do that and it's called the deal specific tasks. So when working on a deal, if I'm inside this deal, all I need to do is click on deal specific tasks and I can go ahead and add a task by clicking on that green button over there. When I click add a task, the same thing pops up and I can go ahead and choose, a, and choose all the details. So I want to send an email, set the deadline, what's it going to be called, um, and the details of that. So, and then I'll just click on close and it will be within my deal. So if I go into it, I can either go ahead and action it, I can mark it as not required, uh, or I can even edit it from here as well. If I don't want it anymore, just click on the red button and it's gone, right? So that's within a deal. So you can set them up in a few different ways. The one I'll go through it again is click the check mark, go to the plus button, set it up, it appears in the calendar. The other way is to drag and drop from the calendar itself. If I'm inside the calendar, I can drag and drop a specific task into a specific day. And the last way is to do it from within the deal by going to deal specific tasks. So those are just reminders. They're not actionable by anything and they're not set up to trigger on a specific set of rules and conditions. That is your tasks. Are there any questions with regard to tasks?
All right, let's move on now to workflow. So I'm going back into Velocity and I'm going back to my home screen. Now, workflows are different in the sense that they allow you to set up a little bit more details that can be triggered uh, on, on specific rules and conditions. So how do we set up a workflow? Firstly, we'll need to get it together. So I'm going back to the presentation for this one. They are set up in a manner that allows you to focus in on details. So it's like a built-in personal assistant. It'll increase your efficiency and you'll have reminders that will happen in, uh, in real time triggered on a specific set of rules and conditions. Um, and they are obviously actionable within my day. And I'll show you that in a moment. This is what that looks like in terms of setting up a workflow. We do have preset workflows for you. And let me just walk through what they are. So if you have a, a workflow with regard to or surrounding a lead, we have a follow-up or sending out a Starbucks card and we have a specific ones set up for you. We have ones that will be relative to pre-approvals, et cetera, et cetera. We'll, we'll have a look at that in a moment. If you want to add a stage, this first button here, that is basically a category that you want that specific workflow to fall under. You can make these whatever you want. It's just a way for you to organize your page in the most strategic way for you to conduct a business that suits your particular style. If you have something that is not obviously falling within our preset workflows, you can then set up your own one by clicking add a workflow. So let's have a quick look at how we would do this. So let's do an example. This is what add a workflow will look like once I set it up and we'll go ahead and do it in real time. We're gonna set one up for one day after approval and let's remind the client to send their documents in. So it's one day after the approval. So let's hop on into Velocity and see if we can do this. Right, so what I would do, uh, I would go to me and I would go to workflows. What's going to pop up is the screen I've just shown you and, I, and there I can add the workflows. Important to remember, underneath show, I have a drop down menu. If I go to all, what will then load up is all of the preset workflows underneath lead, pre-approval, waiting to close, approve, and so forth. These are all the preset ones that we have for you. Of course, if you don't want to use them, you can go and add workflow to set one up for yourself. This is what that's going to look like. Firstly, we want to choose a stage. Um, so it's one day after approval. Um, so the stage may be approved, or if you would like to call it someone else, or you want it unstaged, that's up to you. Um, the workflow title will make it conditions outstanding. When do you want it to trigger? I said one day after the approval date. So what after the approval date, one day after. So it's days after the trigger one. I can also click on the drop down menu um, if I want to change if I want to change that as well. If I wanted at a specific time of the day, I would go ahead and set that time over here. For me, that doesn't matter. The next part is the application type. Now inside here, we can go for approval or pre-approval. I'm gonna go for approval. Um, I can choose uh, the application purpose. I'm gonna go with a purchase over here. The next part is very, very important. What is that workflow communication type? What type of action are we going to execute here? In the drop-down menu, you have phone call, SMS, or an email. So what, which one are you going to go with? For the purpose of this example, we are going to go with an email. 
The next part is you can assign this to someone. Again, we are focusing on that team communication to hold everyone together so everybody knows exactly what's happening on a specific deal. So you can assign it to an agent, an associate, or even an assistant as well, or any specific user for that matter. We'll go for the agent in this one. Lastly, you can use an insert um, template. So you can say hi or dear. Uh, you can insert the recipient's first name, last name, whatever you would you would like. Um, and then, of course, you would insert all your information inside there. So we're going to go with this, which is just a friendly reminder uh, to send us these conditions that are outstanding. Right. So now that we've set up what we're going to say within the email, obviously, you might want to say more. You may want to personalize it. Um, it will ask at a later stage if you want to, but that's a basic idea. You can then add an attachment. So over here, you can send a newsletter, you can send information about uh, credit score, whatever it is that you would like to attach. And then you just go ahead and hit add. What that will do is it will make this actual workflow available for you in my day, and it will become actionable when Ed hits that specific trigger one day after the approval date. It will remind you. And it's going to do so by means of my day. Before I jump on into that one or, or jump on into my day, I would like to do one more example just for the fun of it. But we also want to do uh, a, uh, a text message or an SMS uh, instead of an email. So how would we do this? Again, me and I will go to workflows and it's going to come out in what is going to load this workflow. I don't want to use one of the preset uh, settings for that I have here. I would like to use a uh, an, uh, one that I made myself. So I'm going to add workflow and I'm going to choose a workflow title or it's just a follow up or final check in. And I want to trigger it before the closing date. We'll go 20 days before the closing dates. Before the trigger. Um, it is an approval. We'll go purchase again. I want an SMS now, not an email, an SMS. I'll assign it to an associate. Uh, we'll go. Dear, uh, and include recipient's first name. And then go ahead and paste whatever messaging, or at least type out whatever messaging you feel is appropriate. So I'm going to say the following. Your closing date is coming up quickly. Just wanted to check in with you to see if you are prepared for the closing and if you have any, everything arranged to make that Day is straightforward for you. So whatever it is you want to say, when you go ahead and add attachments, click on add and Bob's your uncle. That will be pasted inside your my day. Let's have a look at my day now. Uh, last part of today's workflows and tasks. So if you're inside my day, what's going to happen is when those triggers kick in, you're going to have everything set out reminding you poking you, saying you got to go and do this. So these are emails that I said set up for myself that are triggering today. So I've got text messages that need to go out as well as emails that need to go out. Tomorrow, I've just I've got an email and that's it. And you can see as I go along uh, all the way to uh, the other days as well. Now, let's go back to today. You can see that I have a title, a recipient, and obviously the rest is not following for this particular SMS. So these two go out and I can go ahead and hit send directly from here. If I'd want to have a look at it or edit it, I can do so. That's the edited, um, that's the, the SMS that's supposed to go out. That's a receiver. I can add recipients or I can even change. I can also send directly from here too. Um, if I need to postpone it, I can do so, reassign it, I can do so, and even remove it as well. 
if I'm happy with everything, I can pop on send and it will go ahead and send there. Same with the email, I can send it directly or I can edit, postpone, reassign, or even remove it as well. So as those triggers click kick in, uh, your My Day will show you what you have set out for yourself to do on that particular day. Now, we understand how to set up tasks. We understand how to set up workflows. Are there any questions on either one of those two topics before I move on? So basically, the key with workflows is that it requires you to check if this if it's appropriate before you send it on out rather than uh, it just firing on out on some specific type of trigger. All righty, so we've seen my day, uh, we've seen workflows, we've seen tasks. There are no questions. Um, I just wanna mention that the help doesn't stop here. We have implemented our new Twilio um, direct texting as well. That's a training in itself, how to send text messages from the system. Uh, that's coming out soon. So join us for that specific training, uh, how to set up your Trilio. We'll walk through that. We'll walk through how to send text messages from Velocity. So big excited for that. The help doesn't stop there. Uh, if you log on to newton.com, this is a website that will open. If you go ahead and click on learn over here, what that will do is open up our training page. Inside our training page, we've got the Velocity Train and we've got short videos that you can go through. And that pretty much walks you through any, any particular topic that you're looking for under getting started to immediate advance. And we also have that passive CRM there as well. We know of brokers that have taught themselves how to use Velocity simply by using these videos. Um, so this is a great resource for you. And then of course, you're free to contact me at any time as well. My email will be in the chat. All right. So that's it from me. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to pop them to me now. Alternatively, you're welcome to send me an email at any time. All right. So that's it from me. Have a great day, guys. Bye.